Hey there, do you want to see where your visitors are clicking or their moves on the pages or even see where they finished with scrolling? Heat maps are the answer. You only need to collect a couple of recordings of the chosen page and you're all set. Heat maps offer you a deeper analysis of the recorded clicks and movements. They can show you how well the page's design is attracting the attention of its viewers, so you can make improvements based on the results. On top of that, creating heat maps in SmartLook is really easy to do. It all starts with the URL of the page you want to track. Copy and paste the desired URL from your website in the text field. Since all of your heat maps are based on the recordings, the heat map will be created from the screenshot taken from the customer's journey. The URL should be the same as it appears in the recording. You don't know where to start? Check out your user's most frequently used pages and get inspired by the results. When you go down the URL path, it is possible to choose between the simple or exact matches. A simple match is a basic setting that disregards everything that goes after the domain in the URL. An exact match helps you to define the URL within the specific parameters. It is especially useful for checking the performance of some specific pages. For example, how your marketing campaign is attracting visitors. A substring match is available for you to help with certain cases. For instance, when you need to check users' behavior on the pages that have some commonality. For example, you can create a heat map without any concern about the language version of your page. The information you'll see on the heat map can be as precise as you want it to. Just select the accuracy you need. Generating a heat map with higher precision might take slightly longer to set up, but it'll be totally worth the time, as you'll get a higher level of detail for the data you're after. More visits will ensure you have the best data available. You can decide whether you'd like to generate a heat map from new data or use historic data instead. The first option will gather data from new recordings until the heat map is finished, but it may take some time depending on your website's traffic. With historic data, you can create a heat map in a couple of minutes from the recordings you already have in your account. Choosing either all historic data or just data from a certain date gives you all the flexibility you'll ever need. Click on the Create button and your new heat map is in progress. Processing fully may take some time. However, the results will be totally worth it. Once you've created the heat map the way you want it, you can track the areas that attract the most attention. Holding a mouse click over an area will allow you to see the exact number of clicks in that selected area. Besides from seeing hot and cold areas with the most concentrated click activity, you can also black out areas which you do not need to analyze. You'll have definitely already thought about the folding line when creating your web page. With the scroll heat maps, you can see your page's average point where content is no longer readily visible and also how many users scroll to the bottom of the page so you can adjust the page better in future updates. But this does not mean that we only track the interactions on your standard web page. There's a whole world of clicks, moves, and scrolls on the mobile version of your page as well. Tablets are also included. Just switch to the desired mode and you'll be able to see how people are going through that page across the devices. As you can see, the data and heat maps can be analyzed in a number of different ways. Additionally, you can decide if you want to see the interactions made by all users or only by new visitors. This gives you a better point of view on what new users are mostly interested in. Once your analysis has finished, you can easily adjust the displayed heat map data and send the heat map report to your email to make the perfect presentation for your colleagues or share it with others via the public link. Now you know what your heat map is and all of its functions. It's a good feeling, right? Enjoy SmartLook, and as always, see you next time.